Welcome back to the Heads Up Show. It's Steve. And let me start off by telling you about these giveaways that we're doing. So this is next in line. This is an LA Chargers upgraded Riddell Flash helmet. If you haven't checked out these builds yet, uh, I'll put the card up right here. Make sure you click on that because we're giving these things away. We only have one or two more to go and I don't want you missing out. But anyway, today we're talking about your pictures. That's right. Today is another episode of We Want to See Your Helmet Pictures. And just like the last time, I'm gonna move along a little bit quicker. I have 10 submissions. If you wanna be on this show, you can email your pictures to pics at greengridiron.com or tag us on your favorite source of social media, but make sure your page is set to public so we can like, you know, actually see your stuff. Okay, first up is Colden. And he wrote in and said, these are a couple of throwbacks I made recently. One is my dad's old helmet from the late 70s, and the other is from my high school in the 90s. All right, cool. Let's see what we got here. Oh, my goodness. Those 70s helmets, they're so goofy. But that's what they looked like. And what better team than the Dolphins? Those colors have always been like that iconic, classic football look, and I love it. And then I tell you this other one with the U-bar face mask, the amount of time that you must have spent, by the way, I noticed that they're all facing the same way. I love that attention to detail. Number 55, big American flag in the back. You know, there's not much I can say about these other than really good work. And I hope that you guys had fun doing these helmets yourself. Thank you for those. All right, next up is Brandon B. Holy cow, I see some glitter here. All right, so first off, we have a Michigan and we have a Notre Dame Speed Flex. This Notre Dame Speed Flex has the coolest sparkles. I mean, that is crazy glitter that is then properly clear coated. And he did the face mask, he did the visor clips, the valve caps, the strap lock. I mean, this thing is blinged out. I love it. And you know what I really like about it is from far away, it's not like really obnoxious, but up close, man, they're all like little individual specks of color. Super cool. The Michigan helmet looks, I mean, that looks on point. This looks like it came off the field. Nice 3D bumpers proper numbers, three center stripes, all individual. Really good. Yeah, this this is great stuff. You, you know what you're doing with these, man. Thank you. All right, next up is Braden. He says, hi, I'm Braden, and I want to be in your video. All right, well, here you are, Braden. The helmet I want on your show is a Dodgers theme helmet. Hope you like it. Well, I saw this one when Amanda had sent these off to me, and I instantly saw a football helmet that looked like a baseball, and I love it. I really like crossing sports when people do this, and the fact that you made this Dodgers helmet look like a baseball. You have the skyline in the background, Champions LA in the back, you have the the MLB logo back there, still the American flag, front and rear bumper decals made up, multicolored lightweight face mask. I mean, this is just outstanding. This just looked like it was a fun project, Braden. And clearly you are a Dodgers fan, but I wonder what gave you the inspiration to make a football helmet out of it? Hmm, let me know. All right, next up is Eric K. And he says, hey guys, my name is Eric K. I'm active duty military stationed in Texas. Thank you very much, Eric. We appreciate you. Um, I've been following you all a while. Here's some pictures of the helmets I've done. Um, I usually get my helmets from Goodwill or eBay. He bondos, sands, and sprays them. Wow. So for those who don't know what bondo is, that is the stuff typically used on cars or motorcycles or boats. It's a tricky to work with, but it dries like a fiberglass that you can then sand and you have to be skilled at using Bondo. So um, Eric must be a talented dude. All right, let's see these Bucks helmets. 
Yeah. You know, this first speed, it has the black mask on it. He's got front and rear 3D bumpers, which really just make it stand off. Didn't change much else. This old school Bucks helmet, so great. The two together on that tablecloth just sells it, man. And I tell you, the rear of that old school Buccaneers helmet is fantastic. The stripes are on the money. Dude, those center stripes are great. And you can tell they're the thick 20 mil ones. I'm really liking this. Thank you. All right, next up is Jack W. And he says, hey guys, here are some pictures of my matte black Riddell Speed Flex with the blackout package and a clear mirror shock visor, which I got from y'all. I'm currently a player coach for the Wolverines in the UK. Uh, they're a uh, Division I league. All right, well, cheers from the USA, and let's look at these photos. Wow, these are cool. That logo, this is beautiful. This is a very unique take on using a transfer decal to use the color of the helmet to incorporate it with the logo to create that really awesome face happening in there. Man. That's beautiful. A lot of work getting those decals cut just right. Really liking the shock visor clips on there too, even with the shock tabs. I mean, this whole entire thing is monochrome. I love it. Really dramatic pictures. I like your vignette that you did around them. I notice all this stuff. Excellent work, Jack. Thank you. All right, next up is Elizabeth and she says, Aloha, my name is Elizabeth and I'm from Maui. And this is my Indianapolis Colts helmet. I got the visor, chin strap, and strap adapter from Green Gridiron. I was impressed with the quick shipping and quality of items. Well, thanks so much. We appreciate that. 22 is my favorite number in the pink breast cancer decals in support of my auntie currently battling the disease. Well, I'm sorry to hear about that, Elizabeth. First off, let's not gloss over the fact it's kind of cool when girls send in helmets because it's just kind of out of the ordinary. So mm, big props to you. And you have a very good attention to detail because this Colts helmet is fantastic. It's got those humongous four inch numbers on the back, front and rear 3D bumpers. You got that shock visor in there clear, which just makes a nice reflection. It's not all about colorful things all the time, the light gray face mask. I mean, this thing is beautiful. You got a thing for the Colts and I can tell. That looks amazing, really nice work. All right, so next up is John P. So he says, guys, I'm a high school football assistant coach and our team got new helmets and there were four older Riddell helmets that were rejected. Ah, nice, so he took them and made his own. He sanded them down, primed them, painted it, purple metallic paint, clear coat. John, let's see how you did here. Yeah, and I love that he sent the photos of the process. There's the rejected sticker, and here it is looking beautiful with that purple. The pictures are a little dark, right? I'm not gonna fault you for it, but I just wish that they were a little brighter because I think the paint job is outstanding. It's not easy to get these things painted right. And the stripes look like you did a, I mean, you did a really good job. Just next time, make the pictures a little bit brighter, man. The camera loves light, but thank you for sending them in. All right, moving right along, here is Michael R. And he says, greetings, my name is Michael. This is my son's helmet I built for him. This year's sixth grade football, his team is called the Red Devils. It's a Riddell Speed Youth. He bought most of the parts from Green Gridiron. Thank you so much. Oh, man. <laughs> this is awesome. The picture of the helmet on the box with the, just a cornfield in the background. It just, you can't fake that. And you are right, Michael. These little pops of red. Th I'm... I'm loving this. This is like something that I would have done the exact same things that you did. We got those red little things against the black that matches that red devil on the side. And this is a really, you know, a perfect example of showing with a little imagination, a little time and a little budget, you can make something that stands out. Wow. 
this this is this wins the day for me. All right. Next up is Parker D. All right. He didn't say anything. He just sent in three photos. Visor on there fits really nicely. He's got a sports star chin strap with black buckles, black Oakley clips with the Oakley tabs, clear face mask hardware. This helmet looks brandy new, even though it's probably not. This looks nice. And of course you gotta sprinkle a little water on there. This looks like it's out in the middle of a golf course somewhere. Man, those are really good pictures. And we're moving along. Actually, we're on our last person already. This is William and he says, my son, William, got a new helmet this year and might have gone a little overboard. All right, well, we're okay with overboard. Uh, he plays center, so this is inspired by Creed Humphreys. Oh, nice, okay, outstanding. Just outstanding. And I don't know, carried away is a good way of putting it. At the same time, I would be happy to just look at this helmet all day. The white fast mask hardware, the white visor clips alongside with that scarlet red TX, those chrome red stripes. Dude, this is the new winner of the day for me. Outstanding work. Love that jersey. And of course you have to have it in front of that inferno you have burning in your living room, I guess. Man, this is so good. I'm glad I'm not scoring these anymore because I, I'm, I'm terrible at that. Everybody would get a 9.3, but I gotta say, William, you nailed it. We saved the best for last. And speaking of, that is all that we have time for. So if you like this format where we kind of move along and if you wanna be on our YouTube show, take the best pictures you can, tell your friends that you just made it on this show, share this video and keep the pictures coming. You can also tag us on your favorite uh, form of social media. Just make sure your page is set to public or that we can at least see that post. So keep the pictures coming. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, cheers.